Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Indizor Education. Um, I would like to talk about prisms today. Well, first let's just um, very briefly recall what the prism actually is. Um, the prism starts with a so-called cylindrical surface and cylindrical surface in turn is the result of the following construction. If you have some kind of a curve um, in space which is called uh, directrix and a line, a straight line which is called generatrix and then through each point on this curve you draw a line parallel to uh, generatrix. So all these lines form some kind of a surface which is called cylindrical. Now, when we want to talk about prisms, we are talking about a specific directrix. So, as a directrix, we are using not just any curve, um, but first of all, we have to have a plane. And on this plane, we have to have some kind of a polygon. Now, this polygon is supposed to be used as a directrix. Now let's do the um, cylindrical surface construction. So from each point, I draw a line parallel to my um, generatrix. something like this. Now, I draw a line through each point on this polygon. Now, right now I have constructed only the lines which are going through vertices. Now, the next step is, let's call this plane alpha, the next step is to have another plane which is parallel to this one and let's call it beta now the cylindrical surface which is formed by all these lines intersects both planes this and that and what I am stating right now that this particular intersection makes another base, so to speak. And now the definition of the prism is, prism is a solid object which is bounded by the cylindrical surface on the sides and two bases which are formed by intersection of two parallel planes with this cylindrical surface. So one parallel plane, uh, uh, one of these two parallel planes is given because that's where our directors is located. It's supposed to be flat polygon. Flat means lying in one plane. And another is just anywhere um, uh, in space parallel to alpha. So everything between these two bases and the sides is called a prism. Right, now, there are a couple of theorems which I would like to uh, prove today um, about this prism. Now, the first thing is, we usually draw the prism by connecting only vertices the corresponding vertices of these two polygons. Now, now well, this is the polygon, I understand that, and um, obviously the um, cylindrical surface is intersecting the alpha base um, along this polygon, because basically each, each line is supposed to go through one of these points on the polygon. So, the intersection of the cylindrical surface and 
lower in in this drawing lower um, base alpha is this particular polygon question is will it be a polygon uh, on any other plane so that's actually the uh, subject of my um, first theorem if I have a cylindrical surface with polygon flat polygon lying in the plane alpha as as a directrice and we have any plane beta which is parallel to alpha then intersection between this particular uh, plane and cylindrical surface is also a polygon and well not just any polygon it would be the polygon which is exactly congruent to this one which means all sides supposed to be the same all angles are supposed to be the same now this um, visually obvious fact needs to be proven and again since the purpose of this whole course is to develop your creativity and analytical abilities proving some even even trivial fact like this one is a very good exercise so how can we prove that this particular intersection of our cylindrical surface and the plane beta which is parallel to alpha is a polygon congruent to this one okay here is how and by all means i do encourage you to basically instead of watching this lecture right now try to prove it yourself and then watch okay so first of all let's just consider two points a and b which are vertices of our um, base polygon directors on the plane alpha now these are corresponding a prime and b prime points where these lines i'm talking about only these two lines where they intersect the plane beta all right now since all these lines are supposed to be parallel to this one that's how we construct the cylindrical surface right from each point on the directors we draw a line which is parallel to this one that's how cylindrical surface is built so a a prime and b b prime are parallel to each other since they are parallel to each other they belong to the same plane so these parallel lines always have the plane they're not they're not skewed right so um, that's basically the definition of the parallelism lying in the same plane and not intersecting so these two lines are parallel to each other which is good and there is a plane and I will use the same letters a B B prime a prime this particular quadrilateral is a quadrilateral lying in some plane so this is a plane which intersects our parallel uh, planes alpha and beta right now we know from the previous theorems that if you have two planes parallel to each other and another plane which intersects both of them the intersections are straight lines and they are parallel to each other so a prime b prime is a straight line and it's parallel to a b so what do we have now that a b b prime a prime is a quadrilateral which is a flat one it's all four points belong to some plane <coughs> and opposite side are parallel to each other this is parallel to this because that's the definition of um, cylindrical surface and this is parallel to this because these are intersections of one plane with two parallel planes which means it's parallelogram within this plane a prime b prime b a this is parallelogram which means that opposite sides are not only parallel but also equal in length and i can say exactly the same thing with every other pair bc and b prime c prime cd and c prime d prime etc so that actually means that all edges of uh, uh, base polygon exactly equal to corresponding edges of 
the polygon, and now I'm talking about really polygon because I know that these are straight lines, right? So these are all straight lines. So um, the corresponding uh, sizes of uh, these edges are equal. How about angles? Well, obviously angles are also equal because these are angles between correspondingly parallel lines. And again, we know this from previous theorems that if you have two angles in space with correspondingly parallel sides, the angles are equal to each other. So all equals, all, all, all equal sides and all equal angles. So correspondingly, the result is these are two congruent uh, polygons. So we have, let's say, on this uh, drawing, this is the lower base polygon, this is the upper uh, base polygon. They are completely congruent. Now, the second uh, theorem is uh, that these are parallelograms. So, in prisms, every side face is parallelogram. Um, that's basically a very, very easy uh, consequence of whatever we were just talking about. So, every side is parallelogram and opposite bases are congruent. So, these are very simple properties. Um, now, um, there is one more thing which probably needs to be addressed. Um, you see, I'm assuming that A, B, B prime, A prime, um, basically this is not only a plane, but also uh, part of the cylindrical surface. So, let me just for a second pay some attention to this particular fact. Obvious by all means, but probably needed to be addressed in some way. So, if you have a straight line from A to B in this case, as a directress, and you are building a, a cylindrical surface using this straight line as a directress, then the cylindrical surface is actually a plane. Well, as long as AB is not parallel to generatrix, then every line you can draw here would lie exactly in the same plane produced by, let's just take two points, okay? So, two points, two parallel lines, and let's have a, a, a basically a plane which is going through these two these two lines, A, A prime and B, B prime. And what I would, would like to actually say that any other C point on this line and if you, pr if you draw the parallel to generatrix C, C prime, it must lie is exactly in the same plane. But again, it's kind of an obvious thing, but to prove the obvious thing is probably more difficult usually. But in this case, let's just think about it this way. Let's take any point C between these A and B, or outside, doesn't really matter. But what matter is on the directors. On these directors, we have this uh, point C. So we have, is, uh, and, and now let's assume that the line from C, which is parallel to generatrix, does not lie in the plane which is defined by these two lines, A, A prime and B, B prime. What happens? Well, but let's still consider this plane, A, A prime, B, B prime, and C belongs to this um, plane because it belongs to the straight line which, which has two points belonging to this plane, right? And we know it's one of the axioms actually. If two 
points A and B belong to some kind of a plane, then the whole line belongs. Obviously, the whole directress belongs to this plane defined by these uh, parallel lines, A A prime and B B prime. So within that plane, let's draw the line parallel to A A prime. Now, it's parallel to A A prime. A A prime is parallel to generatrix, which means that this line is supposed to be, which lies within this plane, it's supposed to be parallel to this one. What does it mean? It means that if I draw a line from C parallel to this line and I have assumed that it's not belonging to this plane, it looks like I have two different lines, one which belongs to the plane, in the plane, and parallel to this one, and one which does not belong to the plane and also parallel. So we have two different parallel lines to this one drawn from one and the same point, which is a contradiction. So this is just a very kind of a plain proof that the um, cylindrical surface which is produced by a straight line as a directress is a plane. And that's why every side of our prism is actually a plane. And then from this I can talk about every side being a parallelogram and stuff like this. So if you have something like something like this and it's no longer working. So if you have a prism which looks like this and you draw certain lines parallel to some kind of a generatrix and this is another uh, base right something like this Okay, so this is visible, and this is not visible, this is not visible, and these are also not visible. Something like this. So this is in this case, a prism with one, two, three, four, five um, polygon, uh, which is which has five uh, vertices. So these two polygons on the upper base and the lower base are congruent to each other. Now the planes where these two uh, polygons belong to are parallel, and each side face of the uh, of this particular um, prism is a parallelogram. So that's the result of all these today's um, theorems. Well, that's it. Um, I Again, I, I wanted you to understand that certain obvious and uh, intuitively uh, trivial facts still must be proven and to be able to prove it is just one more exercise um, of your ability to logically uh, make your points. Um, that's basically it for today. Thank you very much and good luck.